This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to do a review of my <laughs> beef stew. Under my canning um, videos, I've got where I canned beef stew meat and beef stew chunks. It's been a year. I just opened this, and I don't know if you can see down in there. But I'm going to eat this today for dinner. I'm very hungry, so I'm going to try it out and see what it's going to taste like. Now, I've got my pot on my new wave, and inside my pot, I've got about a half a cup of water. I may add some more. Um, I may add some beef, beef broth, not beef, but the uh, bouillon. I'm not sure... I'm just going to see, I'm going to pour, go on, I wanted to do this with y'all here, so I'm going to go on and pour this in here, oh, <laughs> and it just came right out, all right, now let me scoot y'all over and raise you up so you can see down in here and see what it looks like. And I think that in this, I think if I remember correctly, my mind is getting so old, y'all. <laughs> I think you put a teaspoon of canning salt in here. And so the one thing that I get worried about, this is really the first time. Now, I've canned um, sloppy dough or manwich, whatever you want to call it. I've canned that. I've canned taco meats. I've canned a lot of stuff like that that I've eaten, but I've never really canned like beef stew and eaten it. But I do get really nervous when I do this, and I know I shouldn't because I'm always very cautious when I'm canning stuff to make sure that I do it correctly. And I know I did this correctly. I know I did. It was just sealed. It's been in there on my jar, on my jar, on my shelf, in the jar, in the seal jar. And it's in my storage room, which never gets any sun or anything like that. But I still just get a little leery. So in my leeriness, I'm going to cook this on um, well, at medium, I'm going to start it out at medium, and I'm going to cook this for at least 10 minutes. At least 10 minutes. You don't have to do that. It's probably good. <laughs> I just, like I said, I just get leery. And so I do want to taste this for y'all. A lot of people, like Linda of Linda's Pantry, she just opens up her stuff and uses it. I am just, I don't know, I just get shy, <laughs> scared, nervous, leery, whatever you want to call it, about doing that. So I'm going to just let this warm up. I'm going to put some more salt and pepper. I'm going to put some more salt and some pepper in here. And I think that I may, I don't know, I may put a little, a little of this body up, um, Sasson Complete seasoning in here. Let's do that. All right, I'm just going to put a very little bit, y'all can see, uh, maybe a half a teaspoon, probably, yeah. Maybe a fourth of a teaspoon. Not very much. All right, and I'm going to put some salt and pepper in here. And this is just Morton iodized salt. And I know I've told y'all this over and over again. My mama always told me that you're supposed to get iodized salt. So I've always done it. All right, and then this is coarse ground black pepper. And I'm going to put a lot of this in here. And the reason, it's been a year this month. 
I did this last year around this time when it gets when it starts getting foul and cool weather which it's definitely not cool weather here I think it's supposed to be in the 90s this week the rest of this week I'm not sure I know it's the 80s because it was 86 or something yesterday and yesterday was the 30th of September today's October the 1st so but when it gets foul I want to start canning stuff because I want to I guess have stuff for the winter and so since it's been a year I've got beans in there that it's been two years and I've talked to Linda about this before and Linda says that when you can stuff that it's good for two or three years so you know I'm I'm going she's pretty knowledgeable about this and hey Linda love you and um, so I'm just going to you know let this warm up cook it for 10 minutes and I will bring you back I'm gonna fix some peas and some applesauce and butter bread <laughs> so I'll bring y'all back okay I'm back all right I wanted to show y'all I guess you can see it it's real real runny it's just like water or whatever so I'm going to make a slurry and some people use uh, flour in water. I'm using cornstarch in water. And in this bowl, what I've got is about three tablespoons of water. And this is what I use, Argo cornstarch. It's just a, it's just like flour. It looks like flour. Um, let me show you. See, it looks just like flour, and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put three tablespoons of cornstarch in here. One, two, three. All right, and I'm going to stir this up, and it feels like you're not gonna be able to stir it up, but you keep on. <laughs> well, let me get it here. It's it does stir up and there's no lumps in this like it is in flour. And this is going to thicken this gravy, I mean thicken this water up and it's going to be like a gravy. And I can put it on some bread. All right, so this is like it's going to be hard for you to see that, but you'll see when I pour it right here. Now watch. Like I said, it's just like flour and water, and this is called a slurry. All right, so let me stir this up. Oh, and it's almost like instantaneous that this oh gosh yeah it just becomes a gravy just like that look and I just I love it it's called a slurry it's um it's you can do it with flour it's either flour and water flour and milk um cornstarch and water cornstarch and milk I just wanted to do a quick one with this and you can see wow it just it just goes into a to a gravy just right off. All right, so you can see this. All right, I'm going to fix my peas and fix my plate, and I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, here's my plate. All right, I've got my beef stew and the gravy on two pieces of bread. I've got green peas, sweet green peas. I've got applesauce. I, for some reason, I love applesauce and beef stew. Um, and I gotta tell y'all, I want y'all to look at this. Look how thick this, whoops, not down. Let me get it up here. All right, let me see here. If I can show y'all. I get 
I love applesauce, so I get applesauce from Walmart and stuff like that. This applesauce is from Aldi, and it's runny. It's runny, but it is not near as runny as Walmart's is. It's called um, Sweet Harvest, and this is a 24-ounce can, and I... I I think it was like a dollar twenty nine, something like that. Way cheaper than Walmart's. All right, so let's get back to this now and taste this and see what it tastes like. Oh, remember I put the slurry in there so it would so the gravy would be thick, and I put some of that body of complete seasoning in here along with salt and pepper. Oops, let me get this. I'm just going to do the gravy and bread right now. Taste it. Oh, gosh, that looks good. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Oh, wow. All right, now let's taste. Gosh, it's just falling apart. I can't even pick the carrot up. There's the carrot. Oh, oh look. Did you see? Oh, look at this beef. I can't, I guess, I think it was either a roast, a beef roast, or beef stew meat. I can't remember, but, oh my gosh, and of course you have to can this for 90 minutes. And I'll um, link the video below, well, it just fell off my fork. I will link the video below and um, so that you can see how I did it. Well, it's going to fall. Mm. Oh my gosh. This beef is awesome. And this quart can would be enough for two people fixing it like this or whatever over some bread. There's still right much left in there. Um, I didn't even count to see how many pieces of uh, beef was in there or potatoes or carrots But like I said, I'll link the video where I canned this Below and it's been almost exactly a year since I canned this so mm, mm, mm. I'm telling oh, let me taste the potato Mmm Mmm all right, that was great. I can't remember what kind of t potatoes that I used in this, but I think that it was probably the golden potatoes. Is that what? Yellow potatoes? Golden potatoes, whatever. <laughs> because they withstand pressure better, and you're going to can these for 90 minutes. Quarts are for 90 minutes, and I think pints are 75 minutes. Oh, this is amazing, y'all. Mm. I should have I should have been eating this before now. <laughs> but I just am a wuss <laughs> when it comes to stuff like that. I'll can it, and Kayla will eat it, and Josh eats it, and everybody else eats it, but I just get scared. Okay, so I can't be anymore because this is, oh, golly, this is good. All right, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and also, I'm constantly adding new things um, that I use in my kitchen that you can purchase on Amazon. I'm constantly putting the links down below. So they will be down there. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.